very naked nails. All right, I'm going to figure out cruise nails for our upcoming Disney cruise in a couple of days. So when I go on a vacation, I try to use uh, a more permanent base coat. So we're going to go with the long lasting hollow taco base coat today while I try and figure out what I'm doing. So let's do this and let's discuss things. Okay. So number one, I'm not wearing my reading glasses. I can't see a thing. Um, so there's the obvious, there's anchors, there's stripes, there's Mickey heads. Um, I could go mermaidy. I could go piratey. This happens to be a Halloween cruise because Disney will Halloween from August to November 1st. Um, one of my thoughts, and I don't know if I can do it, was to do, you know, the skull and crossbones. How about a sugar skull and crossbones? I don't know if I have what I need to do that, but I'm going to dig through all my stuff and we'll find out. Um, I did take a couple of sh snapshots or screen grabs off of Pinterest of different ideas that I liked, different, um, anchors and stuff like that. I don't normally do mermaids for cruises. Um... A lot of it's going to depend on what supplies I have, what stamps and decals, nail vinyls, stickers, all of that stuff. So as soon as this dries just a little bit, I'm going to pull everything out and we're going to figure out what I have that we can use. Okay, first thing I found, I have this little container of these little gold... Um, stickers basically and each one of these that I pulled out I found might work with some kind of design let me put something white behind these because I think that'll show up better so in this particular case this almost looks like a little ship wheel I think um, I like that Those are just little bumpy things. Here's some stars. I thought that might work. And then, I thought that would be kind of cool on a nail. I don't know what that has to do with any of the theming that I've been talking about, but I really think that's pretty. Um, I have 10 nails, which means I have 10 little teeny tiny canvases that I can do whatever I want with. And I don't care if they match. In fact, I usually prefer if they don't match. So we could have things that have nothing to do with anything else going on on adjoining fingers. I'm sorry if that drives you crazy. Okay, next up, we're going to go through the rest of the sticker drawer and see what we've got. There's fish. I don't feel like fish. Well, maybe fish. We'll put the fish in a pile. No. 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 Nope. Oh, waves. I got waves. Those are swirls. Those are more swirls. I'm so glad I bought all of these. I haven't used hardly any of them. That kind of looks like a wave. Let's throw that over there. More waves. Aw, I haven't used any of my constellations. Here we go. Here's the anchors. That's a definite. These are palm trees. I don't know that I'm going to use those. More fire. So these are not organized very well at all, but this was my plan for organizing this size of uh, nail stamps, stamping plates, was to put the categories. And this is just foam board. And I cut it so that they would stand up just a little bit. And then you just flip through. And mostly it works, except I'm really bad at putting them back where they belong, which is why there's a whole mess of them up front. Because these have not been refiled. I have no skull. What am I kidding? Holidays. Okay, I don't know where the pirate ones went. 
I know I've got little pirate ones. That's so weird. Huh. Okay, I'll dig through this without you, but I just wanted to show you. So the bigger ones, I did the same thing. I cut foam board just a little bit taller, and it's in an Ikea tub. I'll dig through this. Guess what? Found them. Okay, here's what I came up with. So it's a Disney cruise, so I've got Toy Story plate. I have... Ooh, dropping things. That one's Star Wars. This one is Little Mermaid. This one is Mickey and Minnie, Mickey and Minnie, and another Star Wars. Um, these are by a company... Oh, I forgot what the name of the company was. They're out of Mexico. Um... But these are not great plates. They're they're etched either really shallow or too deep. I don't know which. But they're not my favorite plates. But they are specific characters. So they could they can be used. They're just not our favorites to use. This particular one has a seahorse. This one has a turtle. And then I've got Uber Chic. Um, this one's all mermaids. This one is my absolute favorite. This is a, a Luna plate. Um, is it Luna or Lena? Looks like Lena. It's a Lena plate, and it's a uh, it's got a lot of cruise type things on it. This one is clear jelly stamper, and this one is all pirate stuff. And then these are maniology, and these are both pirate. And these I tend to use based on the smudge marks. Okay, if we're going to be thorough, we need to look at what else we've got to play with. All right, so I have shiny things. I have, this is stars and moons and stars and moons. All kinds of stars and moons. I have a bunch of gems. Here I have little Mickey heads, little iridescent Mickey heads. Stars, hearts. Butterflies, moons, dots. Yeah, I bought it for the Mickey heads. Here's bigger metallic accents. <gasps> ah, one of those was open. Ah! There are little gems everywhere. That's okay. We'll clean that up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be finding little purple dots for a while here. Last but not least, this one is uh, shells, gold and silver shells, and stars, they're like starfish, and seahorses, and a couple of other different shapes. Oh, we even, I think we even have little crabs. So, I've had that for a while, so I have a feeling this one's going to come in. This is not, because this is the one that was open, so I'm angry with this one. So it doesn't get to pull. Oh, oh, you little snot. It opened again. Okay. Need to put those in a new container. All right. So I'm just going to see. Now I need to think about colors. Okay. Based on the pile of junk that I pulled together, I seem to have a lot of these gold things picked out. So I believe what I want to do is I think I'm going to start with that blue. This is called Flotsam. It's by Maniology. It's a stamping polish. And right now this is my absolute favorite red. It's a Sally Hansen color therapy called Hot Springs. So those are two really good red and blue for cruisy. And I think this blue is going to go great with the gold. And I'm basing that on the fact that it, I believe it came with this Maniology. This is another stamping polish. It's got holographic flakes in it. And this one is called Lost Gold. But these two go really good together. So I think those three colors. And then a white to balance them out. And I tend to use the Hollow Taco Not Milky White because it's a one coat. Or as close to a one coat as you're going to find. So I think that's our color theme. I just caught sight of the pin on my desk and I think I chose wisely here. Because all these colors are in this pin. So 
So I think that's a good idea. Okay, my nail designs generally tend, sometimes I'll have like this complete idea in my head and other times I'll have nothing. Right now I've got nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing base co coats of each of these four. So I'll have two of each and then two of them will be doubled. But my thumbs break a lot so they don't get a lot of special treatment because they're jerks. Okay, this is one of my favorite little tools. This is just a little cup I got on Amazon and you take nail polish remover. Put a little bit in there. And then you can use that to dip your cleanup brush in as you go. Yeah. Um, I also like to have a paper towel out. And I can wipe the excess off from the paper towel. Okay. I swear, I'm going to actually paint nails. This part is not that big a deal because, well, I'm just putting down a base coat. So what I'll do is one or two coats of base color. And then I will put a glossy top coat over that to seal it in. Oh, that didn't get clean last time. Yeesh. Um, and then that way, I don't know what I was saying. I got distracted by all the red coming out of this brush. Okay, so I'm just going to do a bunch of coats of just regular nail polish and the top coat. And then when they're dry and I'm ready to actually start decorating, then I'll be back. Okay, all dry. It's been about an hour since I started. Just a little. Okay, just, it was just dirty. All right, so I'm going to do this one first. And I'm going to use these anchors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other three colors. Now this red is not actually stamping polish, so hopefully that one will work. And I'm just going to do some random dots. And then scrape it and see what we get. Get that off there. Make sure they're <laughs> kind of smoosh the red. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. I'm going to let that dry and I'll show you why because normally you would stamp it right away. But if I do, then I'm going to get stamp all over here where if I wait and use a sticky base coat, then it'll only stamp on the nail and it won't get all over my fingers. So we're going to give that, it's already, it's already dry enough. It was, it sat too long and it literally just sat while I talked. All right. So I've got Orly. Um, isn't that pretty? <laughs> and there are other people that make a sticky base coat. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Manny Allergy makes one. Okay, so I'm going to put that, uh, layer that on. I'm going to give that about 30 seconds. Meanwhile, I'm going to marvel at these, how pretty these are. I hope the nail works just as well. Kind of dry, trying to blow my nail dry here. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's see if I can find a good spot. I'm going to put my hand down because otherwise I tend to do things crooked. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's cool. I like that. Okay, now I just need to clean up a little bit of the edges here. Generally, if you push down to make sure everything is sticking, and then I just need to clean this little bit off here. So I'm going to take some acetone on a little cotton pad. And 
And I think this is why my things get all um, streaky. Is is either I'm not cleaning them well enough, or for whatever reason, there's some kind of residue or something le being left behind. I don't know. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, in order to clean the stamp, you use a lint roller. Comes right off. All right, next nail. Um, the white ones are the easy ones to do. So why don't we do something on this white one? I kind of like the way that worked. So let's do something like that again. Let's do. Let's use these shells. That'll be different, right? Let me clean this. I see a spot. Okay. Okay. That looked like it got clean. And we're going to go like that this time. Well, that's kind of cool. All right. We'll see how that works. Uh, Oily Bonder. Okay. And again, I'm going to put my hand down <laughs> just to give me some stability. Let me lose some. Let me grab this again. I might like it better once I see it for a while. Or I might put something in the center, like on top. Don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens to him. It's not bad. It's just a little... Patriotic instead of what I was going for. Like, this one's not patriotic at all. But that one... That one did come out as well as I was hoping. Okay, no worries. We'll keep going. Let me close these bottles up for a while, though. Okay, well, I thought I filmed that, but I did not. I tried to fix this nail by using this stamp that's got the outline of shells over the top of it. And I was like, oh, I screwed it up even worse. But then I clean it, cleaned it up a little bit on the edges. And it's actually not horrible. Maybe with a top coat, maybe it will be passable. I mean, it's just one nail in a set of ten, so it's not that huge of a deal if it's not perfect. But now at least it looks like shells. Maybe I'll keep fussing with it. I think if I cover up that blue side with like a strip of gold or something, maybe that would help. I know I just keep making it worse. That might work. I might do that. That might be the plan. That or some sh um, some gems, something. But I think I might have salvaged it without realizing it. I still love this one. This one is so cool. Okay, so I still have eight nails. Now what can I screw up? Okay. We're going to put a gold anchor on this blue nail. So I've got to figure out which size I want for this nail. I don't want to go too small, but I can't go too big either. Okay, I think this one. All right, so these are nail vinyls. And we'll... There we go. 
go. Oh, yeah. Blue on blue. Great. Okay. So, pretend you can find the center, because I never can. Push that down. Okay. Let's get the goal. And again, I'm using the stamping polish. It's thicker than normal polish. Because now we have to peel this up. Ta-da! Okay, that worked well. Let's just not smudge it. Ta-da! See, I'm right-handed, so this hand's always going to be better than this hand. Sorry. Okay, came to the conclusion that I hated that finger, so I redid it. I took it off, and I redid it in white. Um, if you're going to be using nail polish remover and you don't want to screw up the rest of your nails, I don't know if you know this or not, but a rubber glove, on the other hand, is a really good option. So I was doing that. All right. I think since I have two good ones on this hand, we're going to continue over here and do all the good ones before we do more bad ones, because that seems to be the bad hand. So we might just be a little more simple with these. So let's do something a little more outlandish over here. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. On this pinky, because there's not a lot of real estate there, I think I'm going to use this. This is actually a pirate head. You're supposed to build it up into a pirate head, but I think I'm going to use this shape on the bottom to look like a rock. And then I think I'm going to try and put this mermaid sitting on that rock. Let's see if this works. Okay, not sure how well this is going to stamp. I don't think I have a gray stamping polish. This is duct tape by Holo Taco. Let's see if this stamps. Give it a quick little clean. Make sure this is clean. Scraper ready. Mm, might not. Okay, I'm going to try another polish. Give me a sec. All right, let's try this one. This is um, Claw, what's this called? Claw Money and Company, uh, City Sidewalk. This is a discontinued brand. It was a very small, I think 11 polishes or something like that. Very small run. Ethan discovered it on accident. And that's not stamping either. So it's either, it could be the plate, it could be the stamper. We're going to try a couple more experiments here. Shouldn't be the plate. I'm going to switch to a different stamper and see if that has any effect. Feel like I've used them to stamp before. For that matter, I've used the hollow taco to stamp before. We get it? We got it. Okay. Let me try and clean up. Ah, don't ruin it. Let's try to clean up some of the edges here and see. This may not be a dark enough polish. <laughs> All that and it's probably not dark enough. Yeah, I think one more coat. I'll try it again. I tried doing some layering of it. Go right over that. Okay. All right, I have my rock. I need my mermaid. Okay, so I want my mermaid to show up, which means I'm going to have to stamp her a little dark because she's kind of in silhouette there. But the problem is I want her to kind of shimmer. So I think what I'm going to do is either use the same blue or this one. See how that one stamps? But it's kind of light. And then I have this one that really just stamps kind of, stamps kind of a shimmery color. So I think I might do this one and then this one over it. 
I'm not sure. Well, let's try it. The mess. Okay. All right. Now we have to get her on the rock. I have no idea how that's coming out in the camera. She's kind of tipped funny. She's falling off the rock. Should have skewed her a little bit more. That's okay. She's on there. Okay. That dulled her. I, I don't know what happened there. No, I'm not liking it. She's placed funny, and I'm not happy with that nail. That does not look right. All right. No worries. I'm going to leave it for now, and then maybe take it off later. All right, let's work with you. You need some major gold accents. That's what you need. Okay, this is some glue that I got off of Amazon. And this is a teeny tiny little gold starfish. Okay, so you let the glue dry for like 30 seconds or a minute. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the starfish there and then I'm going to put some of this here. I think that's the plan. Okay, the glue is almost dry. It's turning clear. I put a coat of clear. This was a smudge-free top coat from Maniology that I use. I, I use it a lot even before I put a, a glossy top coat over because the thicker top coats tend to smudge the colors. So I tend to put a little bit of this on first. And I put that on my mermaid, and she actually doesn't look too horrible. It needs some help, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do with her yet. But she needs something else. I wish I'd gotten the I wish I'd gotten her skewed a little bit better. Okay, so the glue looks ready, so I'm going to. Come on, flip over. Flip over. There we go. Okay. Pick up our starfish and see if I can get her to adhere to the glue at all. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Cute, cute. Yes, no, and why not? Okay, let's try this. Hope this is in focus, is this? Yeah. Eh, look this way. I just need to cut the ends. Not the world's best placement, but we'll live. All right. That's just a little fancy nail. It's no big deal. Hey, we got four done already. Look at that. All right. That's going to need some top coating. I can go right to the big guns. I don't need... Um, I have a Morgan Taylor top coat that I like, 
I have a bunch of top coats that I like, but this is this will work just fine. I don't really want to go over the starfish, but I do want to go around it. And try and give it a little more help adhering to the nail. My guess is by the time we're done snorkeling in two days, that will be gone. That's my guess. Although it may hang in there. Who knows? Okay, so done, done, done. Done for now. It needs something else, and I don't know what. It needs help. All right, that brings us to here. This one is wide, and it this one feels piratey to me. So let me see. Let me look at the pirate stamps that I have. Okay, trying to clean this thing. The acetone was making it all smeary. I tried alcohol. It still made it all smeary. Eyeglass wipe. Just getting rid of all that smudgy, smeary stuff. Once it's clean and it's just smudging. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this pirate flag on this thumb. Okay. You live in here now. Let's try that again. Nice and gentle. And mostly. Thumb. A really bad placement. Good gravy. Really? To me, that's the hardest part, getting the stamps placed where they're supposed to be, centering them on your nail. I have a rough time with that. All right, you've got to get the other stuff cleaned up before you stamp, because otherwise all this other stuff transfers to your nail. And if the edge of the stamper doesn't pick it up, just use the lint roller. Alright, that'll look better when it's covered with coat. That mermaid looks better because I covered her with uh, a glossy top coat. This will look better too, even though it's not in the greatest placement. It's okay. Okay, we're going to do some Mickey Mouse on this hand. Since it's a Disney cruise, it should be Disney cruise. Um, so this is one of those plates from, I think it's Mundo... Mundo Dos? Mundo... I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Um, and they're etched, you can hear them. So when you're cleaning them, you leave behind all of this, it pulls all this fuzz off. However, I just discovered that using the eyeglass cloth afterwards, you hear how scratchy it is? It picked up a bunch of that white fuzz out of the plate. So that actually is working really nicely. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is I liked this so much. I think I'm going to do it with Mickey's on this finger. So probably this one. All right, so let's make sure everything is clean and ready to go. That's ready. That's ready. And where are my three colors? Here they are. One. Two. And three, and I'm going to try and keep the yellow away from the blue this time because I got kind of a green in there. Let's go for more of an orange. Yellow, red, and blue. See, it stamps beautifully. All right, I'm going to let that dry. We're going to use the base coat trick again, the sticky base coat. Let me show you when I clean this, what I'm talking about, although I thought it was fairly obvious. It's, look at, so it's really difficult to clean. It just tears apart what you're cleaning with. But, try a little.
That's not clean at all. There's still a bunch of gold in there. I need more pads. I'm doing that again. Sorry. But yeah, that did not work the way I wanted it to. I'm going to give you a little more of a... a blobby effect. There we go. That might work. That's interesting. You lose the gold a lot when you do these. Okay. Let's put the sticky base coat on. Okay. But it doesn't matter how many times I clean that plate, it's still dirty. Trying to figure out what placement I want. I see a little bit of that gold coming through in one spot. I got it. Okay, good. All right. Push down the edges so everything is adhered. And then clean up. Where's that brush? Clean up the loose stuff. I think it'll look a little bit better. I kind of like that. Okay. It's cruise day. Okay. I got a couple of things ready to go. I think I need to do some bonding on another finger. But it is the morning of the cruise and I'm not done with these yet. Because I have just not... I didn't have any time yesterday. We were packing. So, I already put Bonder on this. I have decided she is a drunk mermaid, so we are going to take this stamp that I just did. And I'm sorry, I do not have the right glasses on. And there we go, it says rum above her. It's not my, it's not my greatest nail, but it's themed. Over here on this red one, we're going to take, I don't even know if that's going to show up. It might show up better over black. There. We did a cruise wheel in gold, so we're going to put that off center on this nail. It would really help if I could see it, like at all. I really need to go put my contacts in so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so that one's done. Here, I'm going to do a zipper. And then sticking out of the zipper are going to be white stripes across the top. So in order to get the finger taped off properly so that I can do my stripes, I need to know what this... So I've got, I'm holding the tape upside down so it just sticks to itself. Oh, come on, fingers work. Come on. There we go. I want that. Stick together. Come on. Come on. I need a third hand. Not yet. I'll get there. Come on, stick together. You go there. Okay, that's what I want. Huh? Huh? So I'm just gonna get creative. Okay, so there's the V. So then I just need to place it on this nail. That's crooked. Okay. 
I'm not good at this part. I'm not good at the placement part of stuff because I always end up putting it on crooked. I swear this is a good idea. Okay, we're going with that. I don't care. All right, so I'm going to need... Do I have silver? I do have silver stamping polish for the zipper. And white for the stripes. So, we need to do the stripes first. Where did I put that? I was just going to use that that way. I like that they're kind of crookedy. Not crooked. Um, what's that called? One's bigger, one's smaller. gonna just stamp it straight on but that's not gonna work because it's got to be cleaned up first it's a messy stamp okay let's get you all the way let's get you ready might as well get all the stamps ready right all right let's see if this works the way I hope Okay, I'm going to need to get up in this because I see one that's hanging funny. And I can't see. I want I don't want that one there. Oh, these tweezers suck. I can't do anything about them. Okay. All right. And then let that dry for a couple of seconds. So that leaves you and you. Oh, and I have to fix this one. I want to put another line on there. Did I say that yesterday? Oops, I can't remember if I said that the other day or not. So I've got some striping tape. When I put this on, I because I put this on first, so now this isn't centered in its negative space, and it's driving me crazy. So if I put a gold line to mimic that, like that, that's going to shorten this negative space, and it's going to make me feel better. All right, let's see if we can get this on. That does not look sailory at all. Sometimes it looks better later. So we're going to go with later on. That's going to look really cool. i got to clean it up a little, too. Okay. This one, striping tape time. What I want to do is mimic the line I have, or the angle that I have this at. Nice if I wasn't in my own light. Right there ish. Okay, I decided mermaids are getting another shot. I'm gonna try and put this one on my thumb. We're going to stick with We're going to try that. So the first thing we're going to try is we're going to try swapping out the polish and see if that makes a difference. Because sometimes it's just trial and error whether or not you get 
the image you're looking for or not. It's not always you not knowing what you're doing. Sometimes it's there. See, it was the polish. It didn't like the polish. No matter how straight I come in, it always ends up crooked. Sorry, you're not even seeing that. I mean, it looks fine. It's, it's just super crooked. Man, there's something wrong with my hands. Okay, there's one last thing I haven't tried, and that's a DCL logo. So here's the problem. The only nail left is on my right hand. I am right-handed. There is no way I'm going to be able to freehand draw on this hand. So I'm going to try and freehand draw backwards. I have these red, well, I have a whole bunch of colors, but um, I don't even know what that says. This color is called red to, red to go, and it's um, like a little striping brush. So I'm going to use this as a painting Thing. I'm going to do it on the stamp, and then when I stamp it, it'll be in reverse. Maybe. I need a DCL logo. <laughs> she says like she has a clue. Okay, this thing is not easy to work with. May, this may not work. This may be a few trial and error things. Okay, I have an idea. It's called reverse stamping, and I don't know that this is going to work. But what I supposedly can do is I can draw it normal, stamp it onto another ink pad, and then stamp that on my nail. And I should flip it back to the way I drew it. Because I feel like I can draw this properly. Or I can't. We'll see. Oh, you can't go back. So let me mess around with this for a couple minutes. When I actually go to try it, I will. Okay, I need a thinner brush. Let's try this. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go for it. Let me drop a paint. I have a toothpick. So. The theory is, if you use acrylic paint on top of the top coat, you can just scratch off mistakes. So we're going to try this. Oh, that felt very shaky line just blended into the last. Okay. We're going to let that dry. And then we're going to come in and kind of scratch the centers out and try and see if we can actually turn that into a DCL logo. And then we'll just stamp a Mickey over it or use a dotting tool and make our own Mickey. One of the two. We haven't done that yet. We'll do that. Okay. It is now like 530. I stopped to watch the ship come in this morning. Put my contacts in. Let's try and make this look like somewhat like what I want it to look like.
Okay, I'm going to call that not too bad. We're going to go with it because the ship is going to, uh, the ship is here. Um, and we have to be at breakfast in uh, less than four hours. Plus, I still have to shower, finish packing. Okay, that's not going to take four hours. But we're not quite done here. Um, I want a Mickey on that. Okay, so there's two ways we can do this. First of all, let's clean up that blob of paint before I stick a finger in there. Um, we can use the dotting tool or we can use a stamp. So, stamp, well, it's six of one half dozen of the other. Either, either, let's face it, either I'm going to make a cruddy stamp or I'm going to make a cruddy dotting Mickey. So let's do the dotting because we haven't done that yet. And we need black, so here's a black. All right. I'm not great at this. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You've watched if you've watched this far, you've already figured that out. Is this Mickey supposed to be black or is I supposed to do this in a different color? I think it was supposed to be blue. That's all right. Well, there we go. Hey, it worked. All right, I'll take it. All right, everybody just needs some top coating. I'm going to use the Maniology one on this mermaid so that she doesn't smear before I legit top coat her. Anybody else? I top coated you. I top coated you. You need to dry. You're done. You're done. I top coated you. You're done. Oh, I've got paint all over this finger. Shall we clean that up? Okay, I'm going to let Mickey dry, and then I'm just going to put a clear top coat over everybody, and we are done. Cruise Manicure with Time to Spare. Ta-da! Do you have a favorite? I have a couple. And I'll tell you this, they're on my left hand, and they're the three in the middle. Although once this is top coated, I wonder if that red will pop out a little bit more because that might be kind of cool looking. And this might be pretty in the sunlight when the when the sun hits that hollow. That might be prettier. Looking back, I would think I would have chose different stripes or maybe a different ankle zipper where it was a little more like up here and more blue. I don't know. What do you think? What would you have changed? What do you want to see for the content in this channel? What what kind of nails do you want to see? What do you want me to do? Because I do like to play. And normally I'll use a peel-off base coat. So there have been days that I've actually had three manicures in one day. So I'm up for playing. You tell me.